Now, Britain's most senior military officer has warned of a new threat posed by Russia to communications cables that run under the sea. The head of the defence staff, Air Chief Marshal Sir Stuart Peach, said Britain and NATO must avoid the risk of a potentially catastrophic effect on the economy if the cables were cut. Russia, in addition to new ships and submarines, continues to perfect both unconventional capabilities and information warfare. And there's a new risk to our way of life, which is the vulnerability of the cables that crisscross the seabeds. Can you imagine a scenario where those cables are cut or disrupted, which would immediately and potentially catastrophically affect both our economy and other ways of, of, of living if they were disrupted? Therefore, we must continue to develop our maritime forces with our allies, with whom we're working very closely, to match and understand Russian fleet modernization. And with me now is Professor Trevor Taylor, Research Fellow at the Royal United Services Institute. Thank you very much for joining us today to talk about this very interesting story. How significant, first of all, is this threat from Russia to underwater cables? Well, these, these cables, there are hundreds of them uh, laid around the world. and. Uh, Obviously, they're not especially protected, certainly against malicious attack. They, they tend to be protected against anchors. Uh, we know that Russia seems to be interested in trying to disrupt our information systems in general. Uh, we're also concerned about the wider critical national infrastructure, things like water supplies, electricity supplies. So this is you know, really part of a, of a big picture of problems. Uh, I think the fact that, that the Chief of Defence Staff raised this w w was a, a very clear uh, statement that this needs more resources, it needs more attention. So these cables, we're talking about cables that are carrying information that's part of the, they're part of the critical infrastructure. Uh, we're talking about cyber security, aren't we, aren't we when Absolutely. we consider yeah. uh, their, their safety. Um, you say there are examples of these being accidentally damaged, but mm. if, if um, a state or some other actor in all of this was trying to deliberately damage these cables, what would they do? Are we talking about something quite crude like an explosive device? Are we talking about something altogether more technical? Well, I think it would have to be physical damage, either cutting them or perhaps, as you say, blowing them up. One difference about this within the, if you like, the wider information cyber picture is that it probably would be easier to attribute any attack to a specific uh, vessel. Um, Technology is actually making it easier because we're seeing more possibilities for underwater robots and things like that that could do this kind of thing. So it is becoming somewhat more feasible, but I think it, it, it would be more attributable than most forms of cyber attack and thus probably a bit less appealing to a country like Russia that uh, you know, obviously likes to a significant degree of anonymity. But would you have to get a vessel, a submarine, pretty close to one of these cables? I ask that question because uh, the Air Chief Marshal is talking about the UK and its allies needing to match and understand Russian fleet modernization. Yeah. So, you know, can this in part be dealt with by the Navy, for example? having more resources. The, that, I think, was, a, a, well, he actually said it almost explicitly, that uh, this, this kind of uh, problem and the protection of these assets does require more, more naval efforts. And, of course, the number of ships and submarines that we've got has been reducing over, over decades, actually. So it is a call for, for modernization, for expansion of, of naval assets. I think also you know, we have to think about, about how we uh, monitor and uh, uh, these cables better. Maybe we use uh, more robots ourselves for their protection. So, but it is a call for resources, yes. Professor Trevor Taylor, Defence Research Fellow at RUSI. Fascinating to talk to you. Thank you.